Today I'm gonna make some fixing wax from a known good recipe. But then I'm gonna show you my easy setup for carry, storage, and application of it. So stick around. Hi, I'm the OCD Hunter bringing you tips, tricks, DIY hacks, and other useful ways that my OCD can help make your life a little bit more simpler. First, let's talk about what Fix and Wax is. From my research, Fix and Wax is really just a derivative from the old times when they would mix beeswax and tallow together to use for lubricants, waterproofing, candle making, and other uses. As we've gotten more modern and everyone started putting their own spin on it, I have found a ton of different recipes all over the web. And once again, the claims for the use of this product are endless. Some of the most popular ways to use Fix and Wax today are to waterproof boots, cotton, and wax canvas materials, preserving your bowstring, or in my case, my crossbow string, rejuvenating and sealing leather and dried wood to help dry skin and chap lips, using it for its fire starting properties, and so much more. But the reason I'm interested in it is because I have several knives that are made of high carbon steel, which need to be cared for out in the woods to avoid from rusting. I've always coated my knives with a food grade oil like olive oil, but because it's so thin, it doesn't last as long as I would like. I want to try fixing wax because I can slap on a thicker layer onto the steel to keep it in its best form. And the good thing is it's still food grade. If you're new to this like me, looking all over the internet, you can just get overwhelmed by the recipes. So I looked to someone I could trust who has tested and tried a recipe over a length of time and has had a good experience with it. This recipe is from Black Hat Bushcraft. He made a video three years ago on how he made it. I recently reached out to him to see how his batch fared and I was surprised to hear he still had some left and that it met and passed all his expectations. If you want to watch his video, I'll have a link down in the description. So with his permission, I asked if I could recreate his fix and wax with my OCD spin on it. He was excited to help. So to start off, let's talk about what he used to make it. Four ounces of pure beeswax, two ounces of lard, one ounce of olive oil, one ounce of coconut oil. My only real change to this recipe is I was going to add some peppermint essential oils to it. This is supposed to help open up your sinuses if you put a little bit below your nose and also supposed to help with headaches if you put it on your temples. But I might be using my knives around food and game prep, so I wanted to make sure I bought an edible version of the peppermint oil. The peppermint oil came with an eyedropper and I added four full eyedroppers full to the recipe. Finally, here's my OCD twist. Normally after you heat it up, many people just pour it into an Outtoys tin and use their fingers to apply it. Or others pour it into a container lined with wax paper and then end up with a brick of fixing wax that you have to figure out how to carry. For me, I feel that's a little cumbersome. So here's my OCD solution. I'm gonna put the fixing wax into chapstick bottles. Here's my thoughts. By doing this, it will be easier to store, carry, and if you need to apply, you now have an applicator. Just screw the wax up, apply what you need, then re-lower and recap. Just like that, fixing wax that is mess free easy to apply and could be carried anywhere with ease. Now I'm unsure how much this recipe will make so I do have some plastic containers that used to hold some nails and screws for any extra. I prepped these containers by washing them out with warm soapy water and letting them dry completely. As for the chapstick bottles I purchased them as well as many other items that I use in this video from Amazon. If you want to support the channel, I'll have links in the description where you can buy. To fill the chapstick bottles without knocking them over, I decided to drill some holes in a 4x4 and set them in. To do this, I first drilled with a half inch bit as a sort of pilot hole and then re-drilled the holes with a 3 quarter inch drill bit so the chapstick bottles would fit. I got the idea from how I store all my leather working tools where I drilled holes in a long 4x4. I placed all the chapstick bottles in the holes and then I measured out four ounces of beeswax and then I measured out two ounces of lard, one ounce of coconut oil and one ounce of olive oil. I then added some water to a pot and put it on the burner on a high heat. 
I placed a smaller pan in the pan with the water to use to heat up all the ingredients and mix. I added the beeswax, the lard, the olive oil, the coconut oil, and the peppermint oil. When the water began to boil and the mixture began to melt, I turned the burner down to a medium heat and let it slowly heat, stirring occasionally, until it was all melted and mixed together. Once all the ingredients were melted and thoroughly mixed, I used a 60cc syringe I got off of Amazon and put the tip into the mixture and sucked the mixture into the syringe by pulling back on the plunger. I then carefully and slowly began to fill each chapstick bottle by pressing the plunger forward. Once I filled all the bottles, I used the remainder to fill the three containers. I let them sit to begin to start to harden. The fix and wax began to set up quickly and within a half hour, it was almost totally set up. Finally, I capped the bottles and popped out the bricks from their molds. To show you how easy and mess free this is, I pulled out my WCSK. It's made from O1 tool steel, which needs to be maintained or it will rust. I raised the fix and wax, applied it to both sides, then lowered it. I used my finger to rub it in real well, and like that, I have a nice protected coat to keep my knife nice. One thing I did want to bring up though, I'm sure that these syringes may not be set up to use with heated liquids. While I was washing it out, the rubber part of the plunger dislodged and got stuck in the syringe. I bring this up because if this would have happened with the fix and wax mixture in it, it might have caused a big mess or even worse, burnt myself. So remember, you are dealing with hot liquid. So use some common sense, be careful, don't get burnt. So there you have it, my take on Black Hat Bushcraft's fix and wax. I wanna say thank you to Black Hat Bushcraft for letting me use his recipe and some of his video footage. I'm the OCD Hunter, and I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Comments are always welcome.